Hey y'all, coming at you, no makeup Sunday, from the closet that I'm currently trying to organize. I did get the shoes figured out, so that's a plus for me. They were pretty much all right here on the floor. You literally couldn't see the floor on my side at all. Um, and believe it or not, this was the good side of the closet. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're just working it out. Trying to get some decluttering done today. Um, like declutter, organize all the things. I really need to go through my clothes for the millionth time. I'm just really bad at getting rid of stuff that I never wear. And I don't know, like, it's like, oh, I have so much stuff to get rid of. And then I start going through it and I'm like, no, I can't get rid of that. Like, it's an issue. So I might try that next. But I just kind of want to get the floors cleaned up, stuff moved out, stuff moved around, you know? Everyone needs a good Sunday closet clean every once in a while. So that's what I'm working on. I have like a trash pile, multiple sock baskets, um, a giveaway, and I'm piling up some laundry that was lost in there. So we're finding lots of stuff. Um, but yeah, I thought we'd just hang out today, kind of chat. I know I've been MIA. I actually have a video on memory card that I can't find and I'm super bummed about it. Um, I mean, hate to lose a memory card. They're not I mean, they're not that expensive, but they're like $30. Like that's kind of expensive. I don't know where it went. And it has like a super healthy grocery haul. Morgan like did his grocery haul. It was just so good. And I um, made some healthy stuff. Like it was just a good little vlog. Can't find it anywhere. Lost that memory card apparently. So still on the hunt for it, but February was super, super busy. We had lots of plans, rodeo, we went on a like five course dinner date night. That was super fun. Um, I had my friend's baby shower, which I hosted and planned. It was in Lubbock, so kind of did it from afar. If you're new here, I live in um, San Antonio, but I did go to school at Texas Tech. So a lot of my friends are still in Lubbock. Um, spent a lot of February working on that. It turned out so stunning. I actually did film the gift basket that I got her. So before I forget, let me insert that footage here because I'm pretty proud of that gift. I'm such a bis gift basket girly um, and had a lot of fun putting together a sweet little gift for her and baby girl. So let's run that footage now. Hey y'all, I am in my pajamas right now. So please ignore the way I look. I'm minutes away from taking off my makeup from work today and going to bed, but I am leaving tomorrow for my best friend Amanda's baby shower, which is in Lubbock. I am planning a pretty large portion of it. Planning is my thing. I love party planning. I've definitely like missed my calling as an event planner. Maybe not missed, I'm only 30, but I love event planning. Um, I'm also a gift giver. That's just like my love language. I love a gift basket and I wanted to share y'all, uh, share with y'all the gift basket that I made for Amanda and her sweet daughter that is coming in May. Um, her name is Marigold and we're gonna call her Goldie. She'll go by Goldie, so sweet. So this is the basket, nice and full, super cute little bow on the side. I'll do sort of a pan over so you can kind of really see what's happening here. Um, but first I'll highlight a couple things I got on Etsy that are very personalized. Um, number one is this satin, I guess, bow, and I got it embroidered with Goldie, which is her nickname. And this can just be decor for now. It has a pretty large clip, so it's definitely not for um, too small of a baby, probably more when she's a girl, um, but this is just really precious to keep in her room. I love it. So I did clip that to the edge of the basket um, just so it has her name on it. Okay, in the very back of the basket, this is another personalized touch. I ordered this on Etsy as well. Um, by the way, the bow I want to say was around $20 on Etsy and the pillow was around $60, um, but it has her, uh, her monogram, so Marigold and then her middle initial, last initial, and it has a pink bow there in the center as well. Um, her room is very pink and white and girly. This is Amanda's first girl, so we're loving the bow theme. Um, and I did want to include just something super special that maybe she can keep in like the rocker that she sits in or just sitting in a cute basket in her room. Just a nice little 
personal touch. So I did order that. I do have a pink baby blanket down in the bottom of the basket to kind of prop everything up. Honestly, a normal size blanket probably would have been better, but I got a baby one. Uh, I also added a strip of these little baby bow clips. So you can see they have the clips on the back and just in really cute colors. So I added those. I did an array of different um, onesies and just kind of rolled them up. There's a sleep sack in there that was something on her registry, so that's also on the bottom. And then this is just too precious not to show. This little polo Ralph Lauren swimsuit. Are you kidding? <laughs> with all the different colors. I just could not pass it up. I found that at TJ Maxx. It was under $20 and then it has the original Ralph Lauren tag for 75, which is crazy. I love TJ Maxx for that. But I kind of have lined those up along the bottom. She did have some of these little cups on her registry. So I threw those in since they were pink and white, they matched the theme of the basket. Um, I also found thrifting this Lennox candle tea light holder. Um, so I did add a tea light in there for her so she could add it to a shelf in her room since we're doing the bow theme. And again, I found this at um, Goodwill. It was very inexpensive. Linux is a really good, um, just a really good brand. It's actually more of a Christmas um, item, but it matches the theme. And I feel like why can't it be in a room year round, you know? So I did include a brand new tea light for her so she can use that. And then I also, when I was thrifting, I found these really cute little um, boots. These are like ceramic baby boots in pink. How freaking precious. And I stuck a couple of more things from her registry. She had these binkies um, or pacifiers from Amazon. So I stuck those in there. And then also these little mitten sets. This was on her registry as well. So I just threw those in the little, in the little feet, sticking that in there. And then, um, I also have some little baby socks down here, just like a chenille set. Um, these were from TJ Maxx as well. They're koala bear. Um, I did kind of an array. These are six to 12 months. Um, and they're a little bit warmer because when she's six to 12 months, it will be winter. So I thought that would be kind of perfect. Um, I did get her a little swimsuit, which I'm confused about. Like I don't have a kid, so maybe I don't understand, but the swimsuit says 2T. It looks so little though. And I guess I don't really know what 2T means, but I kind of assumed it was like toddler. I don't know. Y'all will tell me in the comments what that means. It was 2T. I was going to buy it. I don't care if it was for a seven-year-old. I was going to buy it. <laughs> and then the last thing I got was just this little... Um, bow or not bow bunny and it has the little flower ears and I just thought it was too cute not to add to the basket so I had had that put in there as well kind of arrange this back I don't even remember how I had it um, and then I also did get her a frame it didn't look that good in the basket I'm not gonna lie and then the picture that I added doesn't fit the frame so kind of a fail but it will match her room perfectly um this is from home goods you can see the top is that bow theme that we're going for it's a really pretty gold it's a pretty nice weight um and i did just stick a photo of the the friend group the aunties in there for her um and i'm just sticking this back behind the frame because or back behind the pillow um because it just i don't know it just didn't match the the theme of the basket and I felt like it kind of looked a little off. So I'm just gonna stick it back there in the back since it will definitely match her bedroom. Um, but yeah, that was just like 10 bucks at Home Goods and I thought that was cute. So we're gonna throw this in here as well. And that's it, that is the whole basket. I'm pretty proud of it. I ended up getting the basket itself at, um, where did I find this? Home goods. It was a home goods. And I looked at TJ Maxx, at home, all sorts. You can see it's a pretty good size. I like that you can't see through it. I thought this would be a good addition, if not in the bedroom with toys and such in it. Um, but also thought it would be nice to hide in a closet, essentially, and throw in, you know, clothes that aren't her size yet. Um, I always like to gift a basket that I feel like either matches the vibe of their house or the vibe of the baby's room, something like that. A little thought goes a long way when it comes to doing gift baskets. So 
that is the final, that's the final verdict, or that's the final um, view of the basket. I'm so proud of the finds. I think everything really just turned out so cute. I might move the bow thing over there and put the boots kind of front and center. Too freaking cute. So thanks for watching that. And I am gonna share with y'all I'm going to try to remember to get some footage of the shower. We're doing like a wildflower theme. It's really sweet. Um, so hopefully I can get some of that. But I have done so much planning tonight. I kind of labeled things that were in like Amazon packages that you can't see what's inside. That way when people are helping me unpack, um, I have like a table setting box and they can see what's in the box because everything is labeled. Um, I have a food table and guest table box that has like the trays the signs for the food, the signs for the guest book, the actual guest book, et cetera. Um, I also did a custom guest book, so stay tuned for that because I will show you. Um, I just ordered that online, amazing. Like came in less than two weeks and really good purchase. So if you need something a little more customizable, um, highly recommend the guest book that I found. And yeah, so excited to share more details with y'all. Um, and I hope you enjoyed kind of seeing this stuff, it's not food content or weight loss, but it's definitely a big part of my life. I love celebrating my friends. I love event planning. I love basket building. So it's turned out really cute. It's pretty much better than I imagined. And I can't wait to gift a Turk. She deserves it and so does the little baby Goldie. The lost Mandel. Definitely need to work out this whole scenario. Probably gonna move the hangers all to the laundry room because that's always where we use them, where we hang stuff up, um, and let this become all of Morgan's shoes. Um, since I have my little shoe storage down there, it's where I keep like heels and then some sneakers. And then in this like hanging piece, there's like a fabric. I don't know, I got this literally my freshman year of college and it has served me so well. That's where I put sandals and then I ended up just kind of lining up boots and then shoes up there. Um, need to go through all of the clothing. This is kind of a random stuff that I need to go through. Random hats and belts. Decide if I'm going to keep those. Um, and I think we're going to make these top two cubicle thingies. Um, Morgan's work pants or just pants in general so they're folded. Um, and then we have just this is from Walmart by the way and I got all the baskets from Walmart too but there's more of my clothes and then there's Morgan's side <laughs> the one-fourth of the closet that he gets so I definitely want to give him some more room um, again this is like all of my luggage I'm gonna move over here I had a piece of furniture there but I just cleaned it out and we're gonna take that out I always like to put my little suitcase in my big suitcase and I'm gonna shove that over there try to get this cleaned up for him as well um poor guy has no room and then we need to kind of figure out what's up here that's like an ipad holder up there i think that's like a tool of some sort can't even remember but yeah a little bit of work in progress texas flag obviously <laughs> i wasn't ready for that i know <laughs> Well, here's the groceries. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to think of something funny to say, but I had nothing. You just, yeah, so, <laughs> so then I just got you, the camera, and deer in the headlights look. Yeah. Okay, y'all, we just got back from getting our very tiny grocery pickup. We spent $50, which is, like, honestly nothing, it feels like. I thought impossible nowadays. Yeah. Seriously, but we do have some stuff here, like a little bit of things, and um, we're just keeping it easy. I'm not even making like legitimate meals, like different recipes, but I will show you what I got and kind of gave you uh, an idea of what we're making. I don't know where my tripod is. Is this gonna work? Ooh, I'm gonna make some muffins. I forgot. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that here in a minute. Yes. What? I said yes. I love those. He loves the, um, I'll show you them. The Kodiak blueberry, blueberry lemon. Sorry, my mouth is like frozen. We just drank smoothies. I feel like I can't talk, but Kodiak blueberry lemon muffins, super good. You can get them at like Target. We have them at HEB. 
Um, I did get three Roma tomatoes. I'm going to make for myself like kava, at home kava bowls. I'm really obsessed with kava right now. I can't believe it took me so long to try it. If you've never had it or if you don't have that, it's like Chipotle, but like Mediterranean Greek vibes. Um, lots of like tzatzikis, hummuses, things like that. Um, I did get some bananas for us both. They're a little on the green side, but that's okay. I got a cucumber. So at my kava, I guess at all kavas, they do diced tomato and diced cucumber together. So I'm gonna do that. <clears throat> I might even prep that so I can just like scoop it onto my bowls every day. I got some cottage cheese. This is just for a snack. I love to have this with Roma tomato and balsamic or some cucumber with the um, like soy sauce and the chili onion crunch. I love this by itself. I love this a lot of ways. So just a good high protein snack. <clears throat> Morgan got some hamburger patties. He's been doing this and it's been working out so good. So he got the ground sirloin beef burgers this week. Um, and yeah, he just cooks them up. Sometimes he bakes them, sometimes he puts them in a pan and it's just like a good high protein meal for him. So I got the roasted red pepper hummus. I love the Central Market one if you're an HEB goer. I like this one more than the Sabra. I also got the Cedars, oops, the Cedars brand tzatziki dip. So good, this is only 35 calories for two tablespoons. It has, um, I think it's made with like Greek yogurt. Yeah, it's like yogurt based. So, so good. Also got some feta. I just picked honestly the cheapest one. This is the HEB brand reduced fat. <clears throat> $4 for feta. I'm like, dang, expensive. Okay, moving on. I did, I thought I got two of these. That's okay, I already have a couple in the fridge. I did get a core power protein shake. That's by Fair Life. I like these. They're 42 grams of protein. Super good. And then for lunches, I know I have, I'll probably have lunch with my dad for a couple of days, like Monday and Tuesday. Um, but then he's leaving town. So for those days, I'm just going to bring my lunch. And I got these little salami cheese and cracker things. And I'm going to have this with a banana. And that will be my lunch at work. And then I'll have cottage cheese whenever I get home. And then I'll make my um, Greek kava bowl or whatever. Is it Greek? I feel like it's not Greek. What's the word? I don't know. Kava bowl. Um, and I'll have that. And then I'll have a muffin for breakfast with some coffee. And that's pretty much the whole, the whole week of eating. We also got some sharp cheddar cheese. Morgan puts this on his burgers. Also, we cut it up and snack on it after work sometimes. That's really good. And Morgan also got some strawberry pineapple. Sorry, the glare is really bad. Um, that for snacks. And then I got some romaine for my kava bowls. We have some jasmine rice, so I'm gonna do half romaine, half jasmine rice. The Tyson blackened, oh no. We didn't get those. Okay, I'm gonna have to go put that on the order that we did not receive those, bummer, because those are expensive. But I, I have some, so it's fine. But I just wanted some backup. But the black and tenders, rice, lettuce, cucumber, tomato, a scoop of hummus, and a soup of tzatziki, and then a little crumble of feta. And that's going to be dinner. So, so good. I'm excited. Also, the closet is looking really good. Let me put all this stuff away, and I'll show you the final results. Okay, so we are in the closet. I lined up his hats, like white hats, color hats, and then like darker black and navy. Some of these need to be washed. You can see he wears them when he golfs um, and they get a little sweaty. But jeans are here. These are mostly all of my, all of my clothes, of course. Um, but yeah, got a lot of stuff hung up. I went ahead and put some stuff up there. I don't know if I already showed that. We did put our socks down here. This side, here's Morgan's stuff. We do still have our like suitcases on the floor, um, but it's so much better. And then that stuff is just hanging to dry. So proud of this. 
Um, I also cleaned out in here. I didn't really clean it out, but I organized. So this all used to just be, this is where I keep my PJs and they were just like folded in here. But I got these little things from the Dollar Tree actually. Um, the little cubes and I know they look crazy. These, this is my matching set. So I have a lot of those. This is like PJ shirts, PJ shorts, PJ pants. Um, and I have my like wedding planning binders over there. And then I just have my little trinket trays. Um, Aquaphor, I use this every single night. And then this is like a foot thing that I like to use. So just some trays over there as well. Also, our bed is clearly not made. I'm about to switch out the sheets, but I don't know if I've shown y'all our new lamps. So we got those new lamps from Target and then I switched out the hardware. That's like all my YouTube stuff, tripods and stuff. I switched out the hardware on our nightstands. Let me know what you think of these. They were just black, like wooden, um, but I feel like I like these a lot better. They're more subtle. Um, and I'm trying to get away from the black in here. So I think I'm going to switch out like that frame. Um, but yeah, I'm about to put our white bedding on. So it's going to look super nice and fresh. I'm excited. I'm finally cleaning out my bog bag, which I took with me last weekend to Lubbock. And look what I found at the bottom. Oh. It's the memory card. It's the long lost memory card. I'm literally so pumped. Oh, are you so pumped? Are you so pumped? You're so excited. Oh, Hutchie, you're ruining the cute, chancy moment. Mm -hmm. Love you both. Love myself for not losing this. And now I think once I finish doing this and changing the sheets, I'm like literally done for the night. Our house is so clean. It feels so good. I mean, I could probably vacuum, but I can do that tomorrow. Um, and I was like, dang, I don't want to get in the bath. It's like too early. I just had a smoothie. Like doesn't seem like the vibe, but I also need to figure out that chair situation. But regardless, now I have time to edit that video. Yes. I love that for me. Okay. Feeling back on my grind. I was so freaking exhausted. I feel like all of February I was just really busy. Like mentally I was just busy all the time or I was like busy planning everything. So I was like mentally drained, I guess, but I'm feeling really good. I had a, like a little reset weekend. I was just feeling good. So I'm gonna go edit, but I wanted to pop in and show you that. And I might pop in later, but if not, I'll see you later.